Hey guys, how's it going? Um, back again with my, you know, homemade night vision journey, this time creating a PVS 69 monocular. Uh, I wanted to make this video just to kind of ease over some of the, you know, bumps I hit trying to make a monocular just because there's no real videos about how to um, make this. And if you want to figure it out, you kind of have to go deep dive into a Discord server that's full of a bunch of nonsense kind of it's it's uh, it's interesting um, but I wanted to make something you know visual to show people what you need to do to put one of these together and just fill in some of the holes it's not gonna be a full you know how to video like I did last time but just enough to fill in the gaps between you know the how to videos for the full PVS 69 binocular set um, there's some a few dish differences with the monocular that I wanted to highlight um, first off, uh, I'll say if you're going to be building this, um, watch uh, Hey There Hero, I believe, on YouTube. He has a great video on how to put this piece together, which is honestly the hardest part. It's just the um, little context you have to uh, solder onto this little board. Um, and the biggest thing to note is that on the left side is the positive side with the red wire, and that will attach to this piece. Um, and it goes into the smaller hole right here. So the red wire attaches to that smaller hole. You solder on the spring, and this is all if you're uh, getting the kit from the person who makes the PVS uh, 69, or you, I know uh, Hey There Hero sells them as well. Um, so yeah, you have the spring onto this board that you'll solder on. And then um, once you get this inside of here, um, I'll go ahead and feed the wires in through right here. Uh, you'll feed this in through here and then you'll you'll hot glue this down in place once you have it fit um, hot glue that one down in there now the next piece that I didn't quite understand was how this piece of solid copper wire fits into everything so there's actually a channel that runs from the front of the battery port or the, the battery compartment to the back of the battery compartment. You'll take this solid piece of copper wire, uh, it's just stick it in there so that there's a little bit sticking out the back. Um, and then you'll wanna bend it 90 degrees, flatten it out with a hammer or something just so there's more surface area and it's more flat. Um, and then you'll wanna snip it right here um, uh, pretty much um, well, you can thread this over first because it'll, uh, this connects to that little hole right there and then you can snip it just so it's barely sticking out. You'll then want to solder that and then this, uh, contact, it basically acts as a wire from this part of the board to this other part of the board and it completes the circuit. So that's this wire or this, uh, solid piece of wire, um, interfaces with the ring around the battery cap. So the battery cap, you'll just take the button, solder it onto the board, bend the little tips. I added a little bit of solder right here just to um, give the positive end of the battery something to touch um, a little bit more. You can 3D print this little piece right here, uh, part of the PVS69 pack. Um, I think, uh, and again, all these files are on the Discord, so um, not super easy to find, but you put that over there. Take the little rubber piece, take it, put it in the battery cap. This all goes in and then bam, you got the clicky button. So now whenever you screw this on, that metal ring will interface there, completing the circuit. Um, and then yeah, you'll just solder the red wire onto that positive end and then the, the black wire onto that end. Um, and that'll complete the circuit there. The only thing else I, I did want to uh, note is that when you are, um, here, I'll take this out real quick. When you are trying to do the final test fit for the tube, I realized it's like I put the tube in here and then realized there was nothing keeping it from falling out. And that's because this piece isn't actually included with the uh, PVS like 69 pack. Um, nowhere in the files is it included there. However, it's uh, critical for, you know, the operation of it. And that piece is this little guy right here. It's the, you know, tube retaining ring, which goes on the inside, threaded right here. So I actually had to go download the full PVS69 uh, pack, not just the monocular pack, and steal this piece, print it, 
And basically what this does is once you get the tube in there, then you screw it in um, very carefully. Um, and then that keeps the tube from backing out this way. Um, so yeah, that was where the big things that um, I was unsure about when, when making this whole thing. So um, basically once you get it all soldered up, you'll just, you know, use hot glue to glue this board in place, uh, use hot glue to glue this in place, and then this little battery cover or the back end, you'll glue that in place as well. Insert your tube, screw on the cap, uh, and then you have your eyepiece assembly, which I'll show you how to attach that in a short little video. Um, I had some trouble with that. It was kind of stiff, but it works. Um, I'm sure I could have filed it away more. And then you'll need to have this little uh, brass uh, threaded piece right here, which you'll use a soldering iron and press that in. And then what I did was I used the heat while it was still hot to then kind of, uh, you know, pinch it in, uh, almost like a, like uh, staking gas keys on an AR-15 bolt carrier. I used it to press in while it was still hot to hopefully uh, retain that piece because that's the biggest piece that worries me. Um, as long as you're not yanking on it, I think it should be fine though. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show this. I'll show you some quick videos of like the finished product once I have it all soldered up. And uh, I hope this helps. Uh, I haven't really been making a lot of videos because, you know, YouTube is just a fun hobby. But, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye. I have it all soldered up now, so here you can see the uh, two wires running from the circuit board onto the back of the battery circuit board. I've also taken that one solid copper wire and soldered it on as well. That traces all the way up through here. Um, I melted it a little bit so it's almost a little bit recessed, and that copper wire is going to interface with the ring around the battery cap. So whenever I insert a battery, it'll complete the circuit. Um, so all that's left is for me to take this back cover piece and uh, attach it like that so it covers up those uh, exposed wires. Hope this helps.